Okay, today we are going to be solving a system and we're going to be solving the system today by graphing. Solving the systems by graphing. So what you're going to be doing is taking a system. In this case, we got 2x minus y. Greater than or equal to negative 3. And y greater than or equal to negative one half x plus one. So the first thing you want to do when you're solving systems by graphing is you want to write both equations in slope intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b. Then your second step is going to be graph and shade. And then the third step is the solution itself. And we're going to say that where the lines and shading intersect. Represents the solutions. So step one is to write both equations in slope intercept form. And if you glance at these equations, the bottom equation is already in slope intercept form. So you don't have to do anything to that equation. The top equation is not in slope intercept form. So I'm going to rewrite the top equation. Going to subtract 2x from each side. So negative y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 3. And then I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. And when you divide everything by negative one, you got to change the direction of the inequality. So this becomes y is less than or equal to 2x plus 3. That could be, if we call that equation 1, here's your equation 1 in slope-intercept form. And I'm just going to rewrite equation 2 down here where it's where I can see it when I move my screen. So that's y is greater than or equal to negative one half x plus one. All right, so then you're gonna try to draw a fairly neat coordinate plane. If you have graph paper, that would be great. Um, looking at these equations, both of your y-intercepts, you've got a y-intercept of positive three and you have a y-intercept of positive one. So you can move your x-axis down 
closer to the bottom of your graph because you're going to be working up here on the top of the graph. So. Here's my X axis and my Y axis. All right, so now what we want to do is graph both of these lines. So I'm going to graph the first line in black. I'm going to put a point on positive three on the Y axis. So here's positive three on the Y axis because that's the Y intercept. The slope is two. Slope is rise over run. So the slope in this case is two over one and it's positive. So I'm going to rise two units and I'm going to run one to the right. I'm going to put a point. I'm going to rise two more units, run one to the right. I'm just going to do that a few more times. Now, Do you see the symbol here? We're going to say over here, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Those are solid lines. Just say solid. Less than or just greater than, those are dashed lines. All right, so this equation number one, it's going to be a solid line. Through three on the y-axis, going up and to the right, two over one. So there's your line one. I'm going to do line two in red. All right, so line two hits the y-axis at positive one. So I'm going to put a point right on positive one. Now, my slope is one half, so I'm going to rise one and run two. But I'm running to the left because this slope is negative. So I rise one and I run two. Rise one, run two. And I just continue that until I'm confident that I got enough points to sketch in a line. So here's my second line. Oh, that's ugly. Okay, so now here's where it can get sloppy, kind of. This black line, line number one, so here's our line number two. When you graph inequalities, you have to graph the line, solid or dashed, and then you have to shade the top or the bottom of the line, all right? Less than or equal to less than or equal to or less than you shade the bottom of the line so let's say less than equal to or less than shade bottom now if you look at line one do you see where my cursor is over here that's considered the bottom of that line everybody agree with that the other side of the line is considered i call it the top of the line so since that equation is less than or equal to we're going to shade the bottom of the line so we're going to shade on this black line one this shading that i'm doing represents all the solutions to that inequality any point that's in the shaded region or on the line will make equation number one true. Now, if you look at equation number two, equation number two is greater than or equal to. 
that means you shade the top of that line. All right. So if we just graphed line two, we would shade. Here's what we would shade. Here's the top of the line. Everything up here. Everything above the line. Now I've made a mess, kind of. But can you guys see where the shaded regions intersect? That's where the solutions are for both inequalities. So in this, I'm gonna shade this. So you can see the line intersects here and the red line's going down and to the right, black line going up and to the right. Any points along those portions of the red and black line are solutions. And then anywhere that this red and black intersects, so anything out here, any point out here, any X, Y value in this blue region where the shading overlaps, is a solution to both of those inequalities. And since they're both or equal to any point on this upper portion of the black line one and the lower right portion of red line two, that's where all the solutions to that system will lie. Let's maybe add this right here. Um, greater than or equal to or greater than. We're going to shade the top of the line. All right, so you'll have solid and dashed lines and you'll be shading the tops or the bottoms of those lines. And you're trying to find the areas where the shading will intersect. All right, so fairly straightforward. Let's do one more example, and then I'm gonna give you some uh, practice problems to do. All right, so in this second example, we're going to do, we got x plus 2y. Less than or equal to 4. Y. Greater than or equal to negative x minus 1. All right, so I'm going to label them 1 and 2 again. All right, line two is already in slope intercept form. So we just got to get line one in slope intercept form. So our x plus 2y less than or equal to 4. Subtract x from each side. 2y is going to be less than or equal to negative x plus 4. and then divide everything by two. So we get y is less than or equal to negative. This negative x divided by two becomes negative one half x. There's a one in front of that x. And then four divided by two, that's a positive two. So here's your line one in slope intercept form and line two already in slope intercept form. All right, so our intercepts are very close to the origin. All 
All right, so I'm gonna graph line one in black again. So I'm gonna put a point on positive two right here. I'm gonna rise one, run two to the left. So rise one, run two. Just continue that long enough to get a straight line. It's less than or equal to, so it's a solid line. Less than or equal to, we shade the bottom. So I'm gonna shade, I'm gonna shade this and see if this looks any different. Here's where all the solutions would lie. On line number two, I'm gonna put a point on negative one on the y-axis. So here's negative one. My slope is negative one, so I'm gonna rise one, run one, and I'm doing that to the left again. So rise one, run one, one, one. I'm gonna keep doing it till I cross this other line. Put a line through all these. Now line two is greater than or equal to. So we would be shading the top of the line. All right, I'm not gonna shade the whole top of this line. Everything up here and to the right. I'm not gonna shade at all because this is the portion where both areas are going to be shaded, agreed? Right in here. I'm going to just try to keep it a little bit neater. Those are where my two shaded regions are going to intersect. So all of my solutions for this system are going to sit along this portion of the red line along this portion of the blue line. And sit in between the two areas. So any point in that blue region, even if you extended it, all right, these lines go on forever in both directions. So anything even out here, would be a solution to that system. So a point right here, is this point a solution? You know, if it's at whatever it's at, you know, maybe it's at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative. This is seven, negative three. Seven negative three is a solution to this system. Plug those values in for the X and Y's and it'll work. It'll make both equations true. Anything in the other areas will only make one of the equations true and not both. All good. All right. So if you're the artistic type, you get to make some pretty lines and use some colors and make your, make your work look real nice today. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's your assignment. On page 153, in the handout that Antoinette is gonna give you. You guys that are at home, um, give me a couple of minutes to get this uploaded. I didn't get a chance to do it yet this morning, but within the next five minutes or so, I'll have it there. Page 153. 
Page 153 today. Let's do problems 11 through 19. All right, please do neat work. And then we're going to go in the basket or we're going to email a picture at the end of the period. All right. Can everybody please try to do their work in a more timely manner? All right. Get this assignment turned in before 1007 and then you're done with it. Okay, don't put it off. Don't wait. Don't say, oh, I'll, I'll send them a picture when I finish it. Send me a picture of what you got done. And if you've done an appropriate amount of work, you're going to get full credit. But I shouldn't be getting pictures three days and four days and five days later. If you're absent today, it's due tomorrow. All right. Get your work done in a timely manner and get it sub not only done, but done and submitted in a timely manner. All right. So you e-learners are going to be excused. Give me a minute or so to get this page uploaded. And then I will get the notes uploaded as soon as I finish that. So if you don't have any questions, you are excused at this time from this meeting.